Hey guys, Dr. Tom Warren here, and you're watching The Plant Doctor. What I want to go over today is an easy, simple way of how to propagate oak leaf hydrangeas. So the first thing I want to go over with you guys is the tools we're going to need. Uh, then I'll go over the method. Hang with me until the end of the video. I've already done one of these. We're going to dig it up and take a look at it at the end of the video. But let's talk about uh, what we need in order to do this properly. Uh, we need some marking tape. You're going to need some hand snips or a box blade you just, or a knife. You just need something sharp. You're going to need some rooting hormone. I'll try my best to remember to leave a link down in the description below so you can pick up some of this stuff on Amazon if you don't have it. And you're going to need a shovel. Those are the things you're going to need. Let's head out to our oak leaf hydrangea and I'll walk you through the process. So behind my left hand shoulder here is our oak leaf hydrangea. And the ideal time of year to do this is like midsummer. The one that I'm going to show you here at the end of the video, I did in June. And today is September the 16th. Going to walk you through this process even though it's a little late in the year to be doing this uh, so the first thing we got to do is find a branch that is low to the ground because what we're going to do here is we're going to kick back this pine straw kick back the the soil a little bit and actually put a limb down in the ground so let's talk about that process so once we have our limb identified what we need to do is kick back the pine straw so that I have bare dirt and I'm going to dig just a small hole here to put my limb in. I know this is a tight camera angle, uh, but I want to get you guys in here so you can really see what's going on. So here is the limb that I'm going to propagate. I'm going to go back and some of these leaves further back, we're just going to pull off so that I'm left with something like this right here. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to take these hand snips here again you can use uh, a knife you can use a box blade it really doesn't matter but what we want to do is just peel back the bark so that we get nice green cambium I've exposed about two inches or so a cambium on this branch so now what I want to do is take my rooting hormone I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the cap And I'm just going to dab a little bit on that cambium layer. Whatever's left, I'm just going to get rid of because I don't want to reintroduce that back into my bottle. I'm going to lay this on the ground, that limb. I'm going to take our soil. I'm just going to put it over this limb right here. And last but not least, we need to know what limb we're doing this to. So when we come back in eight weeks or 12 weeks, however long it takes, we'll know which, which limb is rooted to the ground. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to tie it off. And if you want to, even the mulch that you removed you can put back over the top. It's not going to hurt anything at all. So we're on the back side of the hydrangea where we just did our cutting. And this is one I did 12 weeks ago. You can see here, I, I properly marked it with some flagging tape. Uh, how you'll know that it's rooted is when you lightly pull on, up on it, there's some resistance. 
so it's not just going to come right up out of the ground you know those roots are coming in so what you need to do is take a pair of hand snips and where the branch comes out of the ground on the parent plant side snip that branch back that's the first thing you need to do so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to find where this branch comes up which is right here i'm going to snip it so now this is a separate plant and from here on out you can probably guess what needs to happen uh, we're going to take our shovel and let's see what kind of roots we have on this i'm just going to go around all sides of the plant and start digging up Be careful when you're doing this not to step on your plant. It'd be easy to do. All right, this is coming up pretty good. And so what I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes here is I'm just gonna lift this up and I'm going to shake. I've actually got, I cut the wrong branch earlier. Um, this is the correct branch. There we go. I'm gonna shake some of this soil off because I want to show you this is here again. I'm not gonna do much with this plant. Uh, this was for demonstration. I'm gonna bring this up to you guys so that you can see. And I'm gonna shake some of this soil off and see right there. That's a nice root ball for about 12 weeks. Uh, you could transplant that easily, put it in a pot or you could just leave it in the ground. And uh, like I said, it's September here. I could let this go dormant in the ground next spring, dig it up, and it would be just fine as well. But that is a very, very simple way to propagate oak leaf hydrangea. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. Uh, at the timing of this recording, we're over 3,000 subs now. That's because of you guys. Thank you so much for hitting that like button, hitting the sub button, and for, uh, putting comments down there and let, letting me know what videos you guys want. Until next time, happy gardening.